All right, guys, welcome back to Mike Daniels Plays Minecraft and a couple things since last episode. I chopped down these trees because I needed wood for today's project. Um, I got quite a bit of, of it. Um, I replanted some of the trees already. I'm just waiting for the leaves of these ones to go away completely. I'll take that. Um, before I plant more trees that way, uh, they're not like being stifled by the leaves in the air from growing. Um, although I don't think oak's going to be a problem for a while, because I know we got a stack and a handful more. Um, 48 sticks from doing that. We got, a, it was like about two and a half stacks of oak. Uh, three, actually three and a half stacks of oak. And then, uh, looks like t t almost two stacks of dark oak, almost a stack of a spruce. I don't know if he wants to say Bruce. Spruce. And a little bit of birch, which birch seems to be the one that's becoming hard to get. Um, luckily, I, whenever I tried, died. The one benefit of dying that I had was um, I saw there was a birch forest over closer to spawn. Uh, didn't do that. That uh, we could definitely take advantage of later. So, yeah, there's that. Um, another thing I wanted to check real quick is. Okay, there's. A little bit of food in here, which is fantastic. Um, looks like we are getting low on coal and iron, so we might do a mining session. Um, this still seems really dark to me. Um, we might do another mining session uh, before next episode, or do one in next episode, but this episode is going to be more focused on finishing this house. Um, now downstairs, I'm not going to really decorate that until I put in there what's going to be in there, so... Uh, but it will be decorated. Uh, that's all that really matters at this point. So, most of it's going to be spent inside the house. So, the way this is kind of laid out, um, with this being a storage room up here, and this is probably going to stay a storage room, uh for the foreseeable future. I may eventually end up uh, building a bigger storage room and moving all this stuff out of here. But right now, uh, this is this is our storage room for the foreseeable future. So this is probably not going to get touched right now, if at all. Because uh, again, this might end up just staying the storage room for such a long period of time, it won't matter by the time we actually um, move on. Um, like... I remember talking about one of the other episodes that I'm going to be doing this by season with different towns and cities and stuff, so we might be in season two before we get a proper, like, real storage room. Um, but I'm not, like, a redstone guy, so there probably will never be, like, an official, like, redstone storage facility. But that is not important right now. What is important right now is what we're going to do here. Now, there are a couple ways we could lay this this out. Um, and let's see, this is one, this will be, there's, there's a wall here, it'll be one, two, let's see, it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, by one, two, three, four, All right, one, two, three, four, five, so it'll be three by five, um, so all these rooms will be three by five, because I think they're all the same size, uh, except for this room, which would be significantly bigger. So I think the first thing I want to decorate is going to be... Um, let's bring my my backup crafting table. Wait, hang on. Hold that. Th I did that again. Dang it, it's the second I've done that now. <laughs> That's okay, we have plenty of dark oak. I'm, I'm sure one slab is not going to... Or one uh, log's not going to kill me. I, I need to replace this, though, because it's going to bother me. That's spruce. I need dark oak. There we go. Okay, let's go throw that strip bark back in the random junk storage thing over here, random building junk. Um, actually, we might need... Maybe not, I don't know, we'll, fi we'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so... I Let's grab dark oak. Let's do the bedroom first. So if I was going to build 
a bedroom here. Um, right, we can't do that because those are half slabs. Okay, that's fine. So... Uh, do we have any spare birch upstairs? I doubt we do. I don't think we probably have any spare birch. We only have a little bit. 33 birch. Alright. So we still might need to get more birch. So let's do it this way. Let's do... This is a problem I didn't anticipate having. Do I have any dark oak slabs? Because I might be able to make this look okay. Um, we have a couple. I just want to see how this looks. Which, to be fair, if I'm going to turn this into rooms, I may not have a choice. I may just have to... Uh, deal with it. So, we're gonna put that across like that. And then do something like turning this into a bedroom this way. Let's say we wanted to put the door like, oop, like right there. I just remembered something. I don't think that looks too horrible. No, I don't think so at all. I think that actually looks pretty okay. Considering the situation. Yeah. It's alright. Okay, so now we know we're going to need... Nope. Going to need dark oak slabs going across here. Like that. Did I ever go grab my spare crafting bench? I don't think I did. Um, let's go do that. Because I'm going to need a crafting bench down here, I think. away. Okay. So, let's go get some more dark oak slabs and well, let's put this down here for right now. Let's throw this like just in the middle of this room. But the one thing I remember that I have in here is I should have a bunch of stripped bark already. Yeah, I do. A bunch of straight birch logs from so what is it for a slab we need three three makes six so we should only really need one because it's not like we're building the Sistine Chapel or anything all right so Let's turn each of these into rooms. That's going to be the first thing I want to do. So let's do... I know you might be thinking or wondering why I'm doing this um, right now. Um, two reasons. One, I wanted to get this house done so we could move on to other projects, because I, I, I don't want to like abandon a project midway through. Um, the other reason is that due to the end of the last episode, like, I, I really just kind of wanted to chill and build something and kind of calm myself down, because, I mean, I'm, I'm filming this right after, well, almost right after the last episode with the incident. Um, so, yeah, so, alright. So now we kind of have four rooms here, right? Let's look, let's work on the bedroom first, and actually, with, with all the rooms in, this doesn't look... 
quite so awful, although I may want to... I'll worry about that later. I have a cat in my face. Hang on a second. Alright, so let's work in the bedroom first. So, one thing I want to do is I want to move the bed. I want to move the bed... Uh, right here in the corner, I think, would be a good spot for it. Because then I want to take... Let's take the bench in there with me so I don't have to run out here every single time. We'll throw it right... Uh, I don't have a big thing right here. We'll put it right here for right now. So let's take some... Let's see, this is dark oak, birch. It's mainly dark oak and birch that make up the color palette for this house. So, But we have a, a lot of oak. So, or, yeah, regular oak. So let's make some oak stairs. Which I'm I'm aware I probably have a lot of this stuff up in my um, uh, storage room, but for right now I just I want to use oak because I think the floor is made of oak too. So oh, with the floor bringing out oak though, that's gonna make that look a little strange. Um, so yeah, let's, let's let's try let's try. I don't have I can't what. Why can't I make spruce planks? Oh, I can. Alright, well, let's make a few spruce planks here. Let's make a stack, and then let's make some spruce wood stairs. Those are oak wood stairs. Let's, let's... Okay, so let's try what we're doing again. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I like the, the color on that a lot, a lot better. So we'll do... Something like that, and then we'll like have a little spot, like like a seat, like a little seat right there. So like the person who was living here could like have um, a desk to work on, and then. Of course, if I was going to live in this room, though, I would want it in front of the window. So let's actually put it there. Let's put it in front of the window, like so, right? So then he can, like, you know, the person could look out the window while he's working. And then, you know, maybe... Uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta clean up my inventory. Alright guys, I'm back. I went and planted a lot of those, uh... Um, um... Uh, saplings, so that the, the trees would grow. As you can see, kind of see it over there. There's, there's a lot of oak saplings over there in that corner. Uh... <laughs> Alright, so... This is kind of a simple bedroom. Um, I don't know that I'm going to call this done yet, because I mean, I'd like to do something else with it, but I don't quite know what I would do, like, maybe I would, like, put, like, a potted plant or something in the window, but I think this is pretty good for a bedroom for right now. I mean, I don't really carry a whole lot in my bedroom, so, like, in real life, so, you know, I think a bed and... <laughs> Uh, a, a chest would be good. I don't know if like the chest right there though. Maybe, maybe put the chest over here in the corner. Yeah, I like that better. And I need to go grab some doors. I know I have some doors up here too. I'm also gonna grab all like the uh, other like stairs and stuff that I have sitting up here. Um, birch stairs, oak wood stairs, spruce wood stairs, spruce wood slabs. All this stuff could come in handy. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using the, the, the doors, though, for anything particular in here. Um, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not
I'm not going to uh, put pressure plates on all these doors. Um, I just don't think it's necessary. Uh, there, there, there's my. Uh, let's see, dark oak. Uh, spruce door. I want dark oak door. Hang one more. There we go. So that I can put a door on that one. Um. Let's put this door right there. Okay. We can take this back upstairs now, so it's not taking out inventory space. These doors. All right. So now we've done the bedroom. So this room, I think, would be more of like a living area, right? So. I would imagine you would want some seating in here, and then maybe like a table. So maybe we get some uh, let's see some I need my sticks. Just need to think of everything you need. You find out you don't. I need sticks. Okay. So let's see if we can get some spruce wood fences. And then do something like. Um, the only problem with putting that there is it's going to attach to the wall, which is not what I want. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's do... Let's take those down. And let's put it there. The problem is this room is not very big. I have an idea. I know how I can fix this. Alright, let's take this out, and let's take this out. Let's put the fence here, because you're not going to notice it as much unless you're right on top of it. And then let's go get a spruce pressure plate. There we go. Bruce pressure plate pressure plate. I would keep struggling with that word. And then that can be like a like a coffee table situation right there. I think that looks pretty okay. And then maybe how much wool do I have? I don't have a whole lot of wool, but um and this just dawned on me, which is why I didn't bring wool with me. It it just uh I have a little bit of white wool. What can I do with white wool? I don't know how much I can make with... Well, I can make six. I think six will be okay. So let's do like... Yeah, I think I can I can work with six. So let's do like... Um, like a rug. Like a three... That's, that's not what I want. Like a little seating area. Maybe even put the rug instead of putting it like right there. Maybe put it right there. Then you have like a little like living area right here. And then the torch we removed, we'll put it um, like right here. And we'll put another one, like, there. Actually, no, I think that's just better just right there. We'll put some torches. 
And then in here, we can have like a dining room. Since this is kind of like the bigger of the rooms, so we'll do like something like this. Um, it's probably still going to be too big for this room. If I do like the spruce plates across the top, there would be no room for chairs. No, you know what? I think it'll be okay. Let's do this. Let's do... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. First, let's sleep. I need to figure out that lava is because it's it's driving me nuts. Um, yeah, I have a better idea. Put torches like so. Grab a few more spruce pressure plates, and we'll go boop, boop, boom, boom, and boom. Um, that looks kind of funky, though. Like that does not look the way I wanted it to. Try something else here. Let's try something like. Let's take this back. Because it won't be too long before we have wool, so I'm I'm willing to kind of try some things out. Yeah, that looks much better for what I want. So let's do that instead of the pressure plates. And then maybe we'll do something... Uh, am I out of spruce stairs? Oh no, they're in my inventory already, okay. And then we'll do something like... Um, like that? I mean, there's really no way I could fit because this room is so, like, uh, it's odd numbered. So, like, there's really no way I could fit it so that it doesn't. Oops, I, I put that someplace I didn't mean to. Like, right there. Uh, no, actually, I put it right there. Um, anyway, there's no way I could fit this in a way that it wouldn't be in front of one of these doors. And that's okay, I think. Um, I'm gonna go get some signs. Actually, I have all the stuff I need for signs. Um, if I could just remember where they are. I know. Dark oak sign. Spruce sign. Let's make a couple. I didn't know you could make different sign colors now, or different sign types now, that's, that's pretty cool. Learn something every day. Alright, so let's do something like, can I actually put one on both sides? I cannot. Hmm. So, you know what, let's just get rid of these two entirely. Let's just do that. I think that looks okay. So we'll put those in there like that, and then let's see. Uh, we'll put the white carpet back in here. We'll, we'll do it like that. I think. I think that'll be okay for right now. I'm trying to 
trying to think if there's anything else I can really put in here that would look I mean, dining rooms are, are primarily just for eating, obviously, so I mean, it's, there's not really a whole lot you would have in a dining room. That I can think of. If you have any ideas for anything I could put in any of these rooms that would, like, fit the motif of what I'm going for in these rooms, let me know. Um, that way, you know... We can incorporate some of your guys' ideas, too, into this. Because I think that's part of the fun of doing a series like this, is we all get to have some fun. Now, this room... I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this room quite yet. Like, it goes up to the attic, so... I mean, it could be another bedroom. But, I mean... You don't really see too many bedrooms that have attic access, like with being the only bedroom. And my cats are being noisy again. So. I know what this room can be. You can make this, like, a work area. So, that, that can go in here. That can, that's, can just kind of be where that is. And then we can have, like,. Kind of like what we did in the bedroom, where we have like a work desk like that, and then maybe like have that there, and then do a double chest. kind of like a work area, and then we can move this to right there, to kind of give whoever we're working in here some light, and they have, you know, kind of this spot for his tools, and then, you know, or his herd tools, and then all the supplies for what they're working on. I don't know, I, I kind of like it. Like, I kind of like, it's very, like, there's not a whole lot to it. But it gives you some atmosphere, like, if you look in the window, like, you can kind of see, like, oh, hey, like, there's a desk, and... And I kind of like that, that you can see, kind of, like, what's going on in these rooms. Of course, now, with this new look, there's no window in the dining room, which I just noticed. So we might have to actually put a window in there. Not that that's like some sort of like, you know, really difficult task, but I kind of feel like if we're gonna make that into a dining room, it should at least have a window. So let's do that. Let's put a window in there. And then we'll call it good. Um... Let's put it like right here. I think that's a good spot. So we'll put it. I need to go out there anyway. So let's do something like upside down stair, regular stair, and then we'll get. The glass pane. Which is right here. And we will put that in there. And now the dining room has a nice little window to look out of. And I think that's that's good for right now. Um, again, I'm not sure if this room is going to stay this way or, you know, when we decide to change it, what it will change into. Um, but I'm not sure how long I just took on this episode. 
Um, it felt like a while, but it, this could be an incredibly quick episode for all I know. Um, I'm actually leaning toward the latter. I, I'm thinking this probably wasn't all that long. I'm sure it probably felt longer than it actually was. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Let's put all this stuff away. And... We will do something I forgot to do in the last episode. That needs to go in a different section. Which is the question of the day for the comments. As soon as I get done focusing on organizing through all this stuff. So, um, we're going to throw these seeds out and then I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to put the AFK fish farm. And then we'll call it an episode. But while we're going to the AFK fish farm, let's talk about something that kind of pertains to what happened like that's a massive oak tree <laughs> uh, something that kind of pertains to what happened that's a really tall spruce tree there's a couple of really tall spruce trees look at that cool I'd like some birch trees to grow like that it's like these little inky dinky ones anyway um so it's something that kind of pertains to the last episode with the enderman incident and uh so let's make the question of the day what causes you to gamer rage? For me, it's loss of time um, or repetitiveness. I guess that could kind of go hand in hand, though. So situations like what happened to me last episode with the Enderman killing me and then me spawning somewhere over there and having to find my way back over here like that. It's just really like to me, that's like a fatal game flaw. Like no game should ever, ever do that. Like, that's, it's just, I understand the point, but at the same time, I don't. Like, it just, it irritates the crap out of me when games do that. So, like, what causes your gamer rage? Is it, is it a particular game? Is it, um, other players? Is it, uh, hard levels? Is it water levels? Is it, it who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm genuinely curious as to what makes you guys mad in games. And, uh, alright, so I built the, I'm trying to build a sugar cane from over here, but obviously, like, it's the same issue as it is with the, um, kelp, where I'm not actually close enough for it to be loaded, so it doesn't grow. So, my solution to this is going to be, instead of building more that way, like I was originally going to, um, we're gonna build more this way. Like, the, that house will kind of be, like, probably end up being, like, a midpoint house for this village, but instead of building, like, focus on building the other way, we're gonna build this way. And we're going to build, um, probably something in this area, but I think the AFK fish farm is gonna be somewhere over on this little mini island right here. I mean, it's... I, I don't even know if this island actually connects. I didn't really get a chance to really scope out this island. But I went to chop down some trees. But yeah, I don't think it actually connects to anything. I think it's just literally like a little teeny itty bitty island right here. So I'm, I'm going to confirm that. No, nope, actually it does. It does connect over there to that little section. Um, but anyway, I think... What I'm going to do is I'm going to end up building the AFK fish farm somewhere about right here. Uh, which will be literally, I think, over the kelp that I planted. Now, not, not quite. The kelp's... Where is the kelp I planted? The kelp I planted is... right here. So... The way I... or what I'm exactly planning to build here is just to kind of give you an idea of, of what the plan is um, again I, I that with the mansion is going to annoy me I, I think they look cool I genuinely do but it, it's gonna mess with the mo the way my my plans for this area look so there might be a point where you just suddenly notice that that's gone because <laughs> I, I might go in there and kill everything, loot everything, and then destroy it. Like, 
you know, maybe I'll make an episode out of it. Maybe we'll, you know, do do an episode where we clean out the the Woodland Mansion and an episode where we tear the whole thing down, which is going to be a massive project. And if I do do that, it will probably be in a time lapse, and I'll it'll probably be a talkie episode. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, so the AFK Fish Farm I think is going to be something along the lines of like I'm going to build like a dock area and then we'll have like a fisherman's um what's the word I'm looking for like like a fish like a fish shop where like a fisherman would like you know spend his days fishing and then like his trade would be to sell the fish to the other people in the village and that would be how he would make his money I think that's a pretty good idea. And then we might, like... I don't know. It might be kind of a cool idea, maybe, to build, like, a fisherman's boat in here. Um, although, it, it wouldn't... I don't think... I imagine it would be too big, so it's... I can't imagine, like, the... Like, I know that this water, I think... Here I, here I go, making this up so longer than I had planned. But I don't think this particular water, this, well, this river, is wide enough for too big of a boat to really get through. Especially, like, at the choke point, like, right here. So we couldn't really make it too big, although I know there's a massive ocean over here. And I think this may actually end up bleeding out into that ocean. Uh, but I, I can't tell, and I'm not going to waste time running over there right now. So, I don't know if we'll build, like, a massive fishing boat. It might be, like, a smaller fishing boat. But that would be kind of a cool task for me to maybe undertake, because I have never built a boat before in Minecraft, and I know very little about building boats. It, it would probably look horrible. <laughs> but it's something that would be fun to try. I mean, you don't know if you're going to suck at something until you try it, right? And even then, maybe I can, you know, look up some some tuts and uh, see how other people have built things like fishing boats and see how I like them and maybe steal some ideas from them like I did with my house from Wells Knight. So, um, okay, I didn't steal the idea from Wells Knight, but I, I took a lot of inspiration from one of his house designs to build that house, which is probably going to be very similar to how a lot of the builds in this particular town are going to go for season one. If you can't tell, I am tired, guys, because it is probably, like, what, 4 o'clock in the morning? Yep. I am literally dead on. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. That's pretty impressive that I guessed that. So, uh, yeah. I think we're going to build a fishing boat, or fishing dock, off of this little peninsula right here. And it's I don't know how far I'm going to extend it out, but it, it's going to be kind of a fun build, I think. Definitely probably going to need some more wood, though. Um, which is good, because I, I just built a bunch of wood. But I, I'm, I'm going to need a lot more birch. So we might do another one-hour mining session tomorrow, or one-hour resource gathering session that we'll do in a super fast time lapse. And uh, it might be primarily chopping down birch. But until then, I'll give you this beautiful shot of this wondrous woodland mansion that will be there forever. And we'll see you